My name's Paul Mueller. I'm a reader in composition in the music department here at the University of Aberdeen. My role primarily is in research to compose music, but also to teach music to the students. So we have a lot of students here. Almost all of the students do some composition, and then there are some very talented students that specialise in it. And so it's my job to try and teach them some of the things that I've learned along the way. Uh, as a researcher, I compose primarily for the voice. I've written an opera, but also um, choral music. And a recent piece of mine, Ubi Caritas, was premiered at the royal wedding of Prince William and Catherine Middleton. To be part of that amazing ceremony um, is just astounding because, I mean, Decca Records tell me that um, it was the biggest broadcast in history to date. So to be even a small part of that was unbelievable for me. Um, but also to be there in the rehearsals in Westminster Abbey when there's nobody else there except the choir and me was really quite moving. Um, what this means for the future, who can who can say? But it's just, I think, humbling for me and, and a great honour to be a part of the marriage of what will eventually be the future king and queen. I'm also uh, the director of the University of Aberdeen Music Prize, which is a biennial event for composers from all over the world. Uh, it's now running into uh, a regular uh, a, a kind of time in, in, in everyone's calendar, and we have record entries. Uh, composers are asked to write a piece, this time for trumpet and string quartet, and in association with the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra and Radio 3, we workshop these pieces throughout a weekend, and then a winner is given a huge commission to write a piece for Radio 3 and the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra. Last year, James Macmillan, the great Scottish composer, judged that prize and we had a fantastic piece that came out of it. This year we have the brilliant composer and professor of music at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama in London, uh, Julian Anderson, so we're really looking forward to that. It's quite interesting that a lot of com young composers have written to me asking advice about how they go about getting their music performed. Um, I think the most important thing is people have to think about what it is they're writing rather than where it's going to be performed. And my teacher, Nicola Lefanu, said to me a long time ago, you must write the music that you hear in your head and not be swayed by fashions or fads. And I think if you write music that's true to you, um, it's always going to be a success for you. I've got a, a, a whole load of, as you can imagine as a musician, load of music that I love. Um, if I'd be more traditional to begin with, um, I love uh, choral music. So anything from the Tudor period, like Orlando Gibbons and Tallis and Tompkins, all those composers. In terms of orchestral music, my huge favourite is Sibelius. I mean, I remember hearing the Sibelius Violin Concerto for the first time and couldn't believe that music could do that. Mahler, Symphony No. 2. Uh, but I also have a strange interest uh, in country and western music, which I mean, I'm sure people don't really know about. Um, I actually quite enjoy um, Dolly Parton and uh, th those kinds of uh, Patsy Cline and singers like that. Um, so, I mean, you can enjoy all areas of music, and, and I do. We have a fantastic music department here. I mean, some of the best minds, really, in music working here. Great musicologists, performers, composers. Composition from all areas, from choral music that I do right the way through to electroacoustic music that uh, Professor Pete Stolley writes. I mean, prize-winning music. So you can be uh, here in the department a part of something very special. I mean, it's a new department, a vibrant department. We have over 200 students. Uh, we Last week we put on two operas, um, Carmen by Bizet and The Fairy Queen by Purcell, all by students here. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. We've got orchestra, chamber orchestra, choir, chapel choir, um, choral society, um, viol consort, I mean, everything you can imagine uh, we have here. So it's a really exciting place. I think and the interesting thing that I get asked a lot by is how important is music? Well, can you think of a world without music? I mean, there, there can't possibly be one. Music is something that throughout our lives we hang our emotions on. Um, when we're born, our parents have a favourite song. When we get married, we associate music, a favourite song, to someone we love. And then when we die, of course, music is sung. So music is something that uh, runs throughout our lives. And we here in the University of Aberdeen are proud to make it part of what runs throughout the university itself. So students, even if they're coming to study law or history or medicine, can also get involved in music courses and also in ensembles. So music can be a part of everybody's life. I've had a little tinkle on the uh, 
on the ivory. <laughs> <laughs>